All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the Tier 10 Japanese tank destroyer, and that is going to be the Hori. And this tank exists only in World of Tanks Blitz, it does not exist in the PC version of World of Tanks. Therefore, I think this tank is very, very unique to our game. The most interesting thing about this tank is probably its gold shells, meaning that this tank has AP shells, and uh, this means that uh, the, the damage will not be absorbed by a spaced armor of the enemy tank. So, for example, if you shoot heat or APCR into tracks or spaced armor, a lot of the times uh, it's going to be absorbed by that armor and no damage will go through. In the case of AP shells, they are very, very good in the fact that they just smash through a lot of armor very easily. On top of that, the alpha with the gold shells does not decrease drastically. I think it's something like 15 points, which is nothing when you have, you know, the standard uh, gold shells, which remove 100 to 200 uh, points of alpha. So in this case, the Hori is exceptional because you can pretty much play full gold on this thing and smash people left and right because of your insane penetration on gold shells. That makes the tank very, very unique indeed. So... Apart from that, what else does this tank have? Let's talk about the gun, the aim time, and uh, accuracy. Overall, gun handling is just superb on this thing. It's not bad. It's not pr It's not one of the best, but it's still very, very good, and it's very comfortable to play in the Hori. The gun is probably the best thing about this tank. Of course, it's a TD. It's meant to be, but still, the gun characteristics are superb overall. Now... Moving on to the mobility. The mobility is also very good. It allows you to get to a uh, point. Uh, it allows you to get from point A to point B relatively quickly. It's not going to be a light tank speed, but it's still very fast for the size of this thing. Now, if we come to the armor, the armor is also pretty decent. Now, this isn't going to be your, uh, you know, badger type armor, but it's also not going to be like your Death Star type armor. It's somewhere in between. It's not too fragile, but sometimes everyone will smash straight through you sometimes you're going to be able to block a few shots here and there overall i feel like this tank doesn't necessarily have a big weakness sure it doesn't have a turret but most tds don't and uh, the mobility is great the gun is superb and the armor is also decent so this tank really doesn't have a negative and you can play this in a multitude of roles you can play this completely first line together with your heavies smacking the hell out of the enemy heavies as well because of your great gun or you can choose to sit at the very back and be a sniper you know this thing this thing can have a lot of different gameplay variations and it really depends on your play style and i would recommend the hori to everyone so tell me what you guys think about this tank in the comment section below and with that happy is out and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye